Today we're at the uh, sinkhole campground on the uh, Mugyan Rim. Um, so, uh, what do you think about it so far? Gosh, so far it's really nice. Um, lots of trees. It's windy. Yeah, it's kind of windy. Yeah, it's kind of windy today. So uh, this is near the end of October. Um, you can't really reserve the spots. I mean, half of it's reservable, half of it's just first come, first serve. Yeah. Um, but mid-October they change it all and there's no more reservations. Yeah. So um, we went to this one. There's tons of squirrels. Look, there's two right there running They're across really the road. They're really big squirrels too. That one's a little, but this, most of them are large. So we're going to talk about this um, campground and we're also going to go do the hike to the lake. It's uh, Willow Spring Lake. And we're going to go do the small hike. It's like a half mile, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's That's not, not that too far. bad. Yeah. No, it's That'll not be bad. easy. Easy but, hike. Um, what did we bring today? We brought our motorhome. Uh, you want to show me what it's like over here? What, uh, what, what is your plan with these buckets down here? We're going to be gathering some nuts. We're going to go ahead and gather the nuts in one of the bins. And the other bin we're going to put water in because we're going to be testing um, if the acorn is any good or not by whether it floats. Right. So all the acorns that floats, um, they're good and we can take them home. And Wait, that's them. backwards. The ones that float are no good. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, can we redo that? Again? I'm not going to redo this one. Can no. Please. We have to. And um, you have to boil them too uh, at some point. Well, yeah, the whole process, I didn't get into that. We'll have to so let's take a look at um, the little campground uh, circle here. You can see there, there's a squirrel back there. Uh, again, this is near the end of October, so we got fall foliage. I think the squirrels are going nuts because uh, they're looking for nuts. They're going nuts yeah, to look for nuts. they're looking for nuts. This is the time to gather the nuts and eat them. The, the acorns are falling to the ground. So this uh, campground is two circles. Uh, same with uh, Rim Campground and Mugyan Campground. They're, they're all very similar. There's a circle over there for first come, first circle over here for the reservation. Yeah, we got lucky we got a reserve spot without reserving it because it's October. So, so this is number 26. Um, we were in number 20, One. Uh, 21. We're back there in number 21. Which is right next to the bathroom. And they're back in spots only. But I didn't back it in. Anyways, there. this is the inside circle. So the inner circle has one, two, three spots, I believe, for the inside circle. And then the uh, outer circle has uh, the others. So it's 14 through 26. Here's a little walkway to this area, which is pretty nice. The entrance is this way. Um, there is a host. She's only here to the end of October, and then she uh, moves on. This whole campground closes. So there's only another week, and then this campground will close. Yes, one more week. But so far, it's a really um, nice because everything's asphalt. It's all asphalted. Um, so if you, you know, if, if you don't want to drive on gravel or if, even tent campers, you can tent camp out here. Here's site number 18. Um, there's a lot of vacant ones over here. The problem with this circle um, is that you're really close to the highway. You can actually see it. And you can hear the trucks uh, going by. I can see it right there. There's a vehicle. Um, it's got to be a couple of hundred yards. Um, but if you don't mind that, and you don't mind uh, having a cement um, area to park your RV, then this is a good place. I mean, it's a good place. It's real close to Phoenix. We're real close to the fishing lake of uh, Willow Springs. And just a mile down the road is the uh, Mugian Rim, where you can have... Uh, uh, beautiful vistas and you, there's also a walking trail up there. It goes for like miles It's like an inside island. I thought there was three places, but there's only two in the middle Here we have 19 Looks like a place for two vehicles. They're really big pads. They're really large um, When you come over here, this is ADA here. They have several ADA sites I think each side, this is the second one, the other side has one. So this campground has three ADA sites. And you 
you just see there's uh, actually a grill in this one. I think the ADA sites have these um, barbecue grills. I don't know why they would have these um, just for these. There must be a reason for that. You look over there, you can see, I think that's the road beyond there, right there. I believe that's the road. Again, this is um, fall, so a lot of the leaves are already turning and falling to the ground. Um, you can see there's not a lot of color. The grass is turning brown, but you would expect that. So um, we made our lunch, and our lunch is uh, veggie burgers. With pickles. With a pickle. And the ketchup kind of squirted on our on our placement, so we had to go had to rinse, rinse it. it. And it's drying. They were in the fridge, and they just just came out. See, it came out all over. Yeah. But um, they're pretty big burgers, and they taste awesome. I think they're black bean. Yeah, the black bean, black bean um, veggie burgers, and we cooked them up on the in the frying pan. Yeah. Well, we made it to the lake, uh, Willow Spring Lake. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful and pretty large. How large is this lake? It's, it's pretty big. It's got two fingers, like a, a east and a west. And the last time we went kayaking, we went on the, the east side. This is the west side here, the west like, finger. It's like two, it's like a fork. It's like a yeah. giant fork. But yeah, it's quite, quite a bit. Uh, it, goes, it goes beyond. I mean, you can paddle. This is over a mile long on each side, so you can paddle several miles on this, on this place. I don't see anybody fishing. Uh, we didn't see any uh, kayakers or anybody like that. It's just a windy, um, pretty cool October. Again, this is the end of October. I saw a dead crayfish, Terry. Oh, did you? A dead one? Yeah, there was a dead one in here. Uh, we need to see if we can find some live ones. Crawdads in this. Um, again, I saw a dead one earlier. Uh, a lot of the birds will find them and pick them up, but they blend in pretty well. I don't see any in here. Some people eat those things. But the water level is a little bit low. Uh, to be honest, I think the last time we were here it was probably uh, 15 feet further up this uh, shore. So this is uh, two sites in this uh, campground. Um, there are three um, sites like this. And when you go online and you reserve these spots, you gotta, you gotta know that this is number 22, 23. So there's two sites here. I know it's confusing and some people go, hey, I got a huge parking place. It is not. This is two sites and you got to share it with somebody good thing there's only three in this whole campground so you really don't um 
the, the chance of you getting one of these is pretty slim. So when you go register when you when you go online and you um, look for the reservations, be sure you don't get one of these. So we hiked out to the uh, the little actually it's kind of big. It's a big sinkhole. This is the sinkhole that the campground is named after, Sinkhole Campground. So this comes down from the near the highway and it's like a wash. It comes down and we have a Douglas fir tree right here. Actually there's two of them. And then it uh, continues. A lot of oak trees. We're having no luck finding any kind of uh, acorns yet. Most of them that we found are cracked open or um, what are they? Or they're just gone. I think the squirrels just gone. are taking, taking most of them. But this home. is the meadow, this whole thing. This is the sinkhole. The campground's just up over this hill right here. And then the... Uh, uh, the host said that there's animals that come down, like um, large animals, like deer and elk. And they'll come down here and eat the grass. Evening or, and morning, yeah. Or if they're thirsty, uh, this should fill up with water. And it'll just fill up with water and people, uh, animals can come down and drink. But I mean, the highway is not very far from us. Still a nice campground. In fact, there's another, there's some more um, of that Douglas fir type trees. It's pretty nice. So we're cooking up some soup for dinner. We got the three bowls over here. But it's a, it's a vegetable, minestrone type soup. A lot of the vegetables. It's all nice and hot. And um, with this, we're also going to eat. Um, let's see, what do we have over here? We have some. Uh, uh, yeah, these are oyster crackers. Oyster crackers, yeah. Um, and they're pretty good. They're, yeah, if you have soup, you have to eat that. But look at where we look at our view, the bathroom. <laughs> I know we wanted to get kind of close to it, but you can smell the bathroom every so often. You which which are the dangers of being so close to it. <laughs> yeah, you having a good time, Terry? Yeah. yeah so we hiked, no acorns. We found nothing. No, no acorns today. I think we came too late in October. I, possibly. Yeah. Um, we also made our bed up here. You can see it's um, got our pillows. It's uh, comfy and hopefully um, it won't get too cold in the night. I do have ventilation a little bit in the window here, and then I got another window on the other side over here too. But uh, Terry always sleeps on that side because I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. All right, we spent the night here at Stinkhole Campground. Uh, we had tons of elk like out this way and over this way. There were some more, like they were screaming all night long. It was, it was pretty nice. It also rained, kind of drizzled. Yeah, we think though they the elk might have been in the the sinkhole area where there's a lot of grass growing, which is not too far. Eat. I mean, it's like right. Some of these sites actually border the sinkhole, which yeah. is kind of cool. Anyways, we do like the asphalt. The uh, it's great for people that are coming up from Phoenix. Oh yeah, it's nice. Everything's back in, so. Two toilets. Remember that. Two toilets in the campground. Yeah, there's vault toilets, but um, they're they're fairly they're pretty clean. So. Yeah. Well, here the one thing we don't like is the highway. It's we're so close, you can actually see the the trucks and cars drive by. And you can hear them at night. You can hear them. So, they're pretty loud. Yeah. Uh, the other side of the campground, it's a little less noisy, but you can still hear it. Yeah. That's the one downfall about this place. I mean, it is uh, an older campground. There's beautiful spots. There's a nice forest, good foliage. There's um, a lot of variety of trees, a lot of animals. Um, how many spots do you think? I know there's, there's more There's 26, than... I think. No, there's tw well, that's number 27, so there's probably 27 spots. But that, that traffic is the, the biggest part of this. Yeah, it's the biggest negative, but otherwise the campground's beautiful. It's Lots nice. of trees. Um, you can hike to really you can just it's not that f hard to find the trail to go to um, the, the lake is right here to yeah. the lake is it Willow Springs Lake yeah Willow Spring yeah. it's really marked too I mean you can definitely find the trail yeah. just walk down the road you a little go bit down the road a little bit and then you'll see the trail it's right there. and you can park across the street and then walk the, or and just hike we did we did the whole thing walking and it was really easy hike 
the sinkhole also is a nice little hike to walk to also because yeah. there's other animals out there that graze in that grass it's just a big grassy area probably water there in some parts of the year but not right now there's nothing yeah. down there a lot of squirrels and chipmunks so i saw one blue jay, blue jay. check out some other videos we have out there um, i don't beg anybody for subscribers you want to see more shows click on it and watch it um, we want to thank you for watching us yeah thanks for watching so, what kind of nuts um, what kind of nuts were those <laughs> <laughs> You don't, remember, you don't remember what the heck nuts we came up here for? Remember. What were they? Acorns. Acorns. Okay, let's start over. Right. All right, kind of nuts. Ask that question. What are you looking at? Perfect. <laughs> Shut the hell up, woman. <laughs> That's cute.